Residents of this neighborhood called police after spotting a shirtless man on a neighbor's roof. Eager citizen journalist Eddie George arrives on the scene to film the unfolding situation. I actually started a local community news Facebook group for the community, by the community. It's just not by me, uh, it's by our whole community. Somebody in the neighborhood hit us up, saying, you know, we have a man barricaded on top of somebody's roof in our area. I'm like, okay, let's go check it out. Known by local authorities for covering neighborhood stories, and he soon gets real-time updates on the ground about the suspect. Uh, he violated a uh, restraining order. He subject to arrest at this point and has barricaded himself so that's where we're at the suspect already on probation arrived at the residence of his ex-girlfriend earlier in the day violating a court order when she called police he fled and was soon spotted by a neighbor on a nearby roof he would run back and forth on the roof so he had the cops running back and forth for three hours he was just bouncing all over the roof playing the cat and mouse game with him Frustrated, authorities soon switch tactics and turn to the local fire department for help. How they gonna hook the fire hose up, folks? They ain't playing around. And as soon as he seen the fire hose, he had that look on his face like he needs to figure out what he's gonna do. In Jacinto, California, a man is on the run from authorities and evades capture on the roof of a nearby neighbor's home. How they gonna hook the fire hose up, folks? They ain't playing around. I look over at the guy and he's like, oh no, I'm in trouble. And I was like, he's either going to get wet or he's going to jump. Oh, he's running. As soon as he hits that ground, the one deputy start lunging at him. He made a quick right, there was a tall bush right there. I don't know if the guy thought he was Hercules or what, but he thought he could jump clear over that bush. Instead, the bush tripped him, took him out, and he didn't have a chance. Once they got on top of the guy, he started fighting him tooth and nail. He was not giving up. After seven minutes, five members of the sheriff's department are finally able to subdue the man. That's when everybody like, hey, it's over with. Good job, guys. Neighbors were shaking the, the police officer's hands, appreciating them. The suspect is booked on suspicion of violating a domestic violence restraining order, violation of probation, making criminal threats, and resisting arrest. Exactly. They got it. You can tell the homeowners, they were very happy. You know, hey, this is over with. We can now go back in our home. I actually seen the expressions on their face, and they were like, thank goodness this is over with.